All right, we're gonna go over adjusting the tension, the, the lash and preload on the steering gear bearings. So it's pretty straightforward. They tell you you need a special tool. Um, really, it's just a little scale. I've got, I've got just one of these with a hook on it. And uh, you can rig something up, but this hook happens to grab the steering wheel pretty well. But basically, all you do is um, here we go back the previous step is first you set the worm bearing uh, gear so that's this step right you tighten the big lock nut at the big uh, adjuster on the end uh, tighten it down and then you do the check on the steering wheel and it, do it does have you uh, figure out where the center is you can just turn it all the way in one direction and back and count so on this one, it was about five, a little more than five turns, lock to lock. So two and a half gets you back to about the middle of the steering wheel. But basically, it's real easy. So here's the lock nut, right? That doesn't do anything, it just holds it in place. So loosen it up a little, get a big enough screwdriver, and you just tighten this down. Um, It'll go a pretty far way in. You, you don't have to really crank it. You'll feel it start to tighten it up. And then you come around and they have you just, you know, turn the steering wheel out of the center a little bit. Lock your scale on. And then you just pull. Of course it turned off. But you pull and you take the reading and that initial adjustment should be a pound and a half pound to a pound and a half to make the wheel keep moving which is what I got the reading to next step you get the steering centered that's for me it was about two and a half turns from one complete uh, if you turn it all the way to the right you turn it back to the left two and a half turns then you adjust the gear lash uh, the gear lash is the bolt on the side of the box that moves the uh, sector gear in and out to kind of uh, push it into the teeth on the worm gear. So again, lock nut, that just holds it in place. So you loosen that up and then you turn it in to the right. And again, you will tighten it down. You don't want to crank down on it, but it will get a little hard to turn. You get that down then you go back and do the same thing. They have you get the steering wheel into the center position. And then they say, move it about half a turn to the right or the left. You know, so I just did that. And then at this point, after you do the lash, again, you take your reading with your scale. And this reading after setting the lash should be between two and two and a half pounds to pull the wheel back through to center. So there it was, it was about two and two and a third. And that's about it. And I might go back and fiddle with it a little more um, again. It's a 70 year old manual steering box. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'm sure it's gonna be a lot better than, than what it was before with nice fresh bearings and properly adjusted. Um, you can adjust it while it's in the truck. Uh, you do have to remove the, um, you can leave the pitman arm on, but you do have to disconnect it from the drag link. Um, Cause obviously it can't have any load on it when you're trying to set it. And then, like I mentioned before in some of my previous videos, you fill it with the number zero grease, which in this case was uh, John Deere cornhead grease. It's a self-leveling grease. It's somewhere in between gear oil and grease. Um, you, know, you fill it up to the top, making sure that you don't keep pumping too much in there. Otherwise, it's going to go up into the steering tube. But I let it sit for a while, kind of stuck a screwdriver in and wiggled it around to pop any air bubbles, and then it settled its way in now it's nice and full and you don't change the, you don't change the fluid in these things there's no drain plug according to the manual the only time it needs changing is if you open it up to rebuild it so that's it now i'm going to put this back in the truck and uh maybe double check the settings the the weight once it's in the truck again thanks and stay tuned for more